CAD volcanoes and volcanic fields. A Becky. This volcano was inactive during the Quaternary. The elevation is 8,036 feet high. In Makusi. is a pyroclastic shield volcano that lies in the southeast end of the Tibesti, Tibesti Mountains in central Sahara of the northern Borco region of northern Chad. It is the highest mountain of the Sahara. The volcano is one of several in the Tibesti Mountains and reaches 11,302 feet in elevation, rising 1.9 miles above the surrounding sandstone plains. The volcano is 60 to 70 kilometers or 37 to 43 miles wide. Two nested caldera cap the volcano, the outer one being about 15 to 11 kilometers in size. Within it on the southeast side is a smaller caldera known as Aracor, about 1.2 miles wide and 350 meters deep. Numerous lava domes, cinder cones, mars, and lava fields are found both within the calderas and along the outer flank of the shield. Aracohor contains trona deposits and Imakusi has been studied as an analog of the Martian volcano Ellipsium Mons. Imakusi was active over one million years ago, but some eruptions may be more recent and there is ongoing fumarolic and hot spring activity. So that's so interesting. So this one, this area is being compared to Martian. And moving on to the next one, Oyoyo. Oyoyo is located midway between Lake Chad and the Gulf of Surti. This caldera's volcano is situated in the middle of a volcanic region of Tibesti in the southern Libya and northern Chad and is surrounded by sandstone plains and plateaus of the central Sahara. Its elevation is 7,314 7, feet and has a diameter of around 3 kilometers. And come down here. Don't have really good view in this area. And moving on to the next one, Tarso To. Tarso To is a Pliocene to Holocene volcanic field in the northwest parts of the arid Tibesti range of Chad, containing 150 scoria cones and two mars. Basaltic lava flows fill valleys and plains over an area of 80 kilometers in an east-west direction and 20 to 30 kilometers in a north-south direction in the area north of the more well-known tarso Tusaid volcanic complex. The flows were erupted over a basement of Precambrian cyst on the east and Paleozoic sandstones on the west. 
Sediments within the Vigor Mar were radiocarbon dated at 8,300 plus or minus 300 years old. And that's according to Hagedorn and Jekyll in 1969. You can see how big this is. You have many cones out here. And moving on to the next one, Toussaint. Toussaint is a potentially active stratovolcano in Chad. Toussaint lies in the Tibesti Mountains, the large Urugu caldera, and smaller Tuonotron and Dun Kadimi craters are close to it. It has an elevation of 10,712 feet above sea level. The volcano in the, is the source of a number of lava flows, which have flowed westward away from Toussaint and east into the Yurgu caldera. Let's see if we have a view here. And we do not. Let me back up some, maybe. And none here. Um, moving on to the next one. Tarsovun. That's who, Voon. And you can see Tarsovun is here. Tarso Voon is a 10,200 foot high stratovolcano in the north of the Republic of Chad. It is located in the western center of the Tibesti Mountains. The summit of the mountain is dominated by a 14 by 18 kilometer relatively flat caldera. Extensive basaltic lava flows lie on the northeastern side in a 180 degree arc and are a result of the high activity of the quaternary. In the neighborhood of northwestern direction is the Ehi Moscow, a stratovolcano with the same elevation, 3,100 meters above sea level. Deposits from pyroclastic clouds are found in 15 to 35 kilometers around the caldera. The mountain was constructed over a basement of Precambrian schist, the well-known Soborum Sulfateric Field is the largest in the Debesti Mountains. It is located about five kilometers west of the summit rim. The active fumaroles, mud pots, and hot springs are visited by people at Debesti for medical purposes. Let's look over here. And there may be some views on here, so let's see. You can see how big this is. And then, so let's go right here. We can look again and see how big this is. And moving on to the next one, Tiroko. Tiroko is located midway between Lake Chad and the Gulf of Surti. This caldera volcano is situated in the middle of the volcanic region of Tibesti in southern Libya and northern Chad, surrounded by sandstone plains and plateaus of the central Sahara. Tiroko's caldera has a diameter of around 7 kilometers and it is 9,545 feet in elevation. You can see Tibesti is here.
is huge. And moving on to Tarso Vega. Tarso Vega is a stratovolcano in the Tibesti with a summit caldera that is 19 by 20 kilometers or 12 miles by 12 miles wide and 300 meters or 980 feet deep. The summit of the volcano reaches a height of 2,972 meters or 9,751 feet. The caldera is heavily eroded with almost the entire southern side eroded away and the younger Voon Ignimbrite has been emplaced inside it. It belongs to a different volcano, Tarso Voon. The caldera has been used for irrigated agriculture. Let's see if we can get a closer look. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please hit like and subscribe. And check out our next video coming up. Thank you and have a great day.